All right, so what's poppin' everybody? It's your man, Joshi, back again with another video. Oh, I almost failed. What the hell? And as you guys already know, we are back again with another HABANGER! You feel what I'm saying? Now when it comes to this video, we have a nice little sneaker review on our hands, and if you guys saw the last video, and you guys already know what sneaker this one's gonna be on. Honestly, if you're looking at the title, you already know what this sneaker is about to be on. Wait a minute, and for the sneaker that we have for today, we have the Air Jordan 4. Not today, Chris. Not today. We have the Air Jordan 4 FIBA. You feel what I'm saying? Now when it comes to these right here, these have to be maybe some of the most interesting sneakers that I've reviewed this year so far. Because this is a sneaker that I, this is just a color combo and just a design that I have not seen coming and is just super extremely different to me. Now, if I'm going to be completely honest and give you my feelings of this shoe, I think that this shoe is trash. I think that this shoe is ugly you know what i'm saying these look like some spider-man inspired cleats you feel me these look huge you feel me i just i don't really know i don't know bruh i don't really bang with the shoe i don't really know what to say though it's just kind of hard to say like when it comes to the sneaker bro the sneaker is super ugly but it does have a face that a mother could love like it's very ugly but it's cute at the same time you feel what i'm saying now when it comes to these bad boys when i went to go pick them up i stumbled into the local footlocker asking for some sizes of these and they for sure had some sizes i wanted to see how many sizes they had available and pretty much the dudes told me that they had a full size one available and ain't nobody been checking for these bad boys at all when i went to go pick up the shoe i proceeded to look at the box that he gave me and once i saw that box i realized how ugly these shits really are but like i said bro even though this might be an ugly shoe i can still see it for what it is and i do think that it is you know, it's one of them ugly ducklings, you feel me? It's a, it's an ugly shoe, but it only has a face that only a mother could love. Now, one thing that I will say about these shoes is that, let's just say you gave this shoe to a toddler or like a preschooler, and you gave him an all gray Nike sweatsuit, I think that that toddler, that little three-year-old would body that, that outfit. Let's go ahead and keep it a thou wow, three million. If they had that on and they took pictures with the hood on, that'd be super fire. But when it comes to these actual shoes, when it comes to the materials used all over the shoe, as you can see, it's in like this gym red leather. But I don't even know if you can call it a gym red because it almost looks burgundy-ish in a way, but still light at the same time. Also, it has a Spider-Man theme with that little navy blue going across the midsole and going across the eye stays and the inside of the shoe. Now, I will say that when it comes to like the quality, the quality's not bad, you know what I'm saying? The leather that they use looks pretty good. And also, the construction of the shoe looks pretty good too it's really just the actual color of the shoe that threw me off i don't know if we need an air jordan 4 in this color but you know what i'm saying i'm not even gonna lie to you bro we ask these brands all the time to give us something different give us something different give us something different and they gave us something different so you know what i'm saying i'm grateful that we're getting different types of designs of air jordan 4s but my opinion of this shoe is that i just don't think that it's a nice shoe if you guys look at the caging and if you guys look at the little the webbing on the inside of the tongue it has that little FIBA print going through it and that is an interesting take on this shoe I don't like it at all I feel like you should have went with that original Air Jordan 4 caging the little webbing the little netting on the shoe you should have went with that instead of that little FIBA print but when it comes to the shoe being called a FIBA I can see why they went with that little look you know what I'm saying I don't bang with it but you know what I'm saying I'm sure some people will also when it comes to the back you guys see that we got those jump man and gold now that's probably my favorite part of the shoe now just imagine if we had nike air in like that metallic gold that would have changed the game you see bro you, you, i feel like you can make shoes better so much so easy like it's so easy to make shoes a lot better but they just go over the simples you feel me everybody wants nike air why not give us a metallic gold nike air don't you think that would set it off that much more but you know people just don't think like that you know what i'm saying when it comes to the bottom of the shoe as you guys can see it is mainly white but it has some red hits in the bottom also at the toe and a little navy blue hit right here and on that jump man now that is just your usual air jordan for bottom but when it comes to these bad boys bro when it comes to copping these on feet i recommend that you guys go true to size if you guys go up half a size on an air jordan 4 it's going to fit like an air force one it's going to fit mad big on you and you're not really going to like wearing this shoe whenever you do plan on wearing it you feel me so i do recommend that you guys go true to size you can also go down half a size if you really needed to but go to the size now when it comes to these shoes also they also come with different sets of laces they come with a white pair of laces and a navy blue pair of laces and even though bro i don't see any use for putting a navy blue lace or a white lace in these shoes i will say that it is just a nice touch you know it's 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 very uh it's very genuine to throw us an extra pair of laces especially for a shoe that is supposed to be a collab shoe not even a collab shoe but a 
a idea type of shoe. You feel what I'm saying? A shoe that represents something. But like I said, bro, when it comes to these shoes, super ugly shoe has a face only a mother could love, but it's still, it's still like okay at the same time. Like I've seen worse Air Jordans than this one but this one is still a really ugly shoe. But if you guys want this shoe, bro, look, sometimes ugly stuff is cool. Sometimes you can pull off ugly stuff. If you guys wanna check these out, I recommend that you check those out. I recommend that you go into your store, try them on, throw these bad boys on, make sure you put them on in your true size. If, the, if you have to go up a size, bro, if you have to go up a size or up half a size, I don't even recommend buying them, bro, because it's just gonna be too big. I've had Air Jordan 4s that are up half a size before and it's not the move, or it's just too big, you feel me? Go true to size or go down to size, half a size, or don't mess with them at all. But when it comes to these shoes, this was the Air Jordan 4 FIBA. How do you guys feel about these? If you guys think that these are dope or trash, go ahead and put that in the comment section down below. Now, as you guys already know, we are about to get into a brand new on foot review. Now, look, my on foot reviews have been pretty quick. Nowadays, I'm trying to figure out how to get better pants to show you guys better pants and also i'm working with different angles i'm trying to switch it up for you guys tell me what you guys like the most just let me know thank y'all for watching as always as you guys already know i got more bangers coming soon and more fire videos coming soon and all i gotta say is hey enjoy the on foot blessings 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 and uh chris out Oh, <laughs> oh,